Hey lovelies, Larissa J here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Today I want to do a video that I've been meaning to do for quite some time. Someone had asked me about when I met my husband online, um, just the responses that I got from that, specifically from my parents. What were my parents' reactions like when I met my husband online? <laughs> so I'm actually going to go into the whole um, process of meeting someone online and how that whole thing worked out. Um, my whole story I've already shared, so I'm not going to go into those details. If you've not seen those videos, I'll be sure to include a link so that you can check that out. But today I really want to focus on the reactions of people when you meet somebody online. So for me, I... Um, I did some online dating. I also did a video on that. If you've not seen it yet, go ahead and click that link. Um, I've done a video already talking about um, dating social media, dating on social media, and dating online, uh, online dating, um, two different things. And so, check that video out. But uh, I want to talk today more so about like what happens after that like a lot of times now people ask me like oh like how did you meet your husband and uh, we get that question a lot just because of our whole relocation story and all of that a lot of time where we live now people will be like well how'd you end up out here you know uh, which is a good question but um <laughs> because of that we get a lot of those responses where it's like wow like you guys met online so I want to talk about that and how it worked out and the responses of everybody around me and everything like that so um so as you know coming into what we already know because you're supposed to stop and look at those videos if you didn't know my husband and I met on social media essentially um and it was one of those things where it was like uh, not like a one-time thing. Like we interacted with each other in 2012 on YouTube. Here we are on YouTube again. Um, we met in 2012 on YouTube. We interacted with one another, brother and sister in Christ, like, hey, keep up the great work for the kingdom type of thing. And then we reconnected again in 2016 on Twitter. Um, and then we reconnected again in 2017, which is when it finally stuck. So for us, it was YouTube and Twitter that we interacted and met. So I want to talk about the reactions of the people in my life at that time, as well as, you know, my thoughts and feelings regarding the whole thing. So for me, um, I knew that this man was going to be my husband um, obviously that third time when it stuck 2017, we had reconnected and we were sending each other messages like just, you know, like friends because we had chatted in 2016. So it's like, oh, hey, like, how you been? What's going on? You know? And so, you know, that was all fine and dandy. But there was a time where, I don't know, it was just like my eyes were open and I was like, oh, I think he's single. You know, like it just hit me. I didn't think about it. I never thought about it. I never thought about any of it like that before until like this one moment. I remember like where I was standing and it just, it was just completely different. Like this, something clicked and something changed. And so I started paying attention to him from a like, a, hey, I think I might be interested in you perspective. And then um, we were like sending messages back and forth, a DM on Twitter, just having conversation. And like, I knew that the Lord had said to me like that that was going to be my husband. And I just... Psh, push the thought in the back of my mind because I was like falling asleep and I was like, let's stop being thirsty. You know, you just, just, just sit down. So I, I really didn't take that into too much account, um, in that moment. But anyway, so yeah, so we proceeded for me though. I was used to meeting people online. Like by the time that I was, you know, realized that I was interested in my husband, um, romantically, I was used to like meeting people online. So for me, it wasn't anything like super out of the ordinary. Like that was the first time that I had encountered someone that I already knew before um, or had communicated with before and they were just like coming back around. Like that whole thing was new. And I guess maybe even with YouTube or Twitter, that was the first time I'd really had that type of experience. I think for me in the past, it'd be like people like trying to hit me up on Facebook or like on these Christian dating sites. So it was slightly different in that regard. Now, on the other hand, with the other people in my life, 
So the first question that I had received was, how did your parents respond? So I want to talk about that. So my parents, um, in the beginning, I think it was kind of like I was really chill about it. I think I was probably more so like letting my mom know like, hey, like I met this guy and he's from, you know, the same state I'm from and that kind of thing. Um, and so it was, I started out real chill about it. By the time it started getting serious and I was letting them know like, hey, I think this is going to be serious. I met him like on Twitter, <laughs> you know, um, it wasn't as bad. It wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. You know, it, they, they, they took it fairly well. Um, I was very open and communicative about why I felt that this would be the one for me. Um, and I think that made a huge difference for me. I filtered out a lot of men over the years and I knew what I was looking for and they knew as well. Um, I was 27, 26 or 27. Um, and so they had, you know, obviously been with me on my journey and they knew um, I was pretty hard on the guys and and what I was looking for. And I was looking for something specific. So when I came to them and said, hey, like, I think this one might be the one, um, I think they, you know, they took heed to it because I didn't say that about anybody else, like, so confidently. And I didn't, and I had, like, everything lined up. You know, they saw that everything lined up. They knew the things that I was looking for, what I was believing God for. And it was more so one of those things, like, wow, really? Like, you know, and I'm listing, like, all of his qualities and why I feel like he's qualified and would be the one it was really one of those situations where it's like wow really like you don't hear about a lot of you know people like that and <laughs> nowadays and so they actually responded pretty well to it obviously it's different you know especially nowadays compared to like when they got married uh is different than how people you know used to meet back then but other than that like it was like wow like that's pretty neat. And of course, it was kind of like, let's let's wait and see like when y'all meet in person, if this really is what we think it is. But uh, they were they were really, really good about it, actually. Usually you would think that it would be some sort of alternative response. But they when I first let them know that I had met somebody online and it's getting serious. They, yeah, they actually took it pretty well. Now, the other people, I, I remember specifically I had some people that were skeptical because I met him online. And, I mean, I can understand that. I think for me the biggest thing was if I'm sitting here telling you like that I'm confident in this, like, trust that. You know, I think there were a couple people, my friends at the time, who, you know, were they wanted to make sure that it was safe, you know, and they were like, really? Because I, I remember there, the very first time I was actually going to go fly out to meet Javan because he came out to meet me first and we met in person and he met my family and all that. And so and when it's my turn, I was like, yeah, I'm getting these plane tickets. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to, you know, visit him and blah, blah, blah. And they were like, are you sure? Like, you know, there, there, there was a lot more skepticism when it came to my friends. Um, there was... And not all of my friends, some of my friends, um, just because it was like, you met this person, like what? You met them on Twitter, you met them, you met them on YouTube and like, you're going to get on a plane and go see him. Okay. Uh, so that was interesting. But I, for me at that time, you know, I had to be confident in what I believe the Lord was saying to me and what I believe was in my heart. And so I went with that. Like by that point, I wasn't listening to anybody because I knew what the Lord had told me and I saw like the fruit of that you know I saw things lining up and so it wasn't one of those things where I would say oh you know like you don't think I should go girl no mm -mm. I was like this is what I see this is what I've been praying about I was very prayerful during the process and so um to answer that question my parents took it well you know my friends were the ones that were it was a little bit more challenging to initially convince because it was like you sure that he's telling the truth you know um unfortunately he was it, it just it worked out and that's why it's so important to just be led of god to be prayerful um to watch the fruit of a person all those things are so important and and i knew that i was doing those things i knew that i was prayerful i knew i was sitting there listening i was before god regularly like it wasn't like a 
fly by night, oh, I think this feels good type of thing. It was really, I took it really seriously, especially on the spiritual end of things, just to make sure that I was in line with the word of God. And because of that, I was confident in my decision. So regardless of the skepticism that I received from my friends initially, um, I didn't care, especially because they were, you know, they were my friends. My friends are definitely important, but they, their opinions don't supersede God and, you know, his leading in my life. So, um, I wanted to share that with you because I never talked about that side of things where it's like, yeah, there's there may be people who are skeptical. And so if you're in a long distance relationship or whatever the case is, if you believe that the Lord has brought this person into your life and that whole thing um, and you're sure and you're confident you've heard from God and you still receive skepticism, you really have to just be plugged into what the Lord is telling you to do. You can't be moved by what other people's opinions are because everyone's going to have an opinion, especially when it comes to something like that. Um, and, and, you know, in most cases they mean well, people mean well, but they're not God. And so I would highly encourage you if you're in that situation to really be pressed in and know what you're talking about because you've been communing and fellowshipping with God. And then once you have that confidence, um, and that confirmation from him, like, you know, opinions, opinions don't supersede God. And what he's saying to you. So I figured I'd share that with you. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have experienced this, if you've ever been in any type of unusual situation or any type of online dating and friends, family, whoever was skeptical of <laughs> what you were trying to do. Let me know below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.